Hello guys and welcome to the J Blade 2000 part uh Fossil Fighters Champions walkthrough part 6. Oh, the fossil case. So he's explaining that you keep your fossils in the fossil case and there's a certain number of points you do for cleaning them. <laughs> so there's the VMM, the Vivisaur. I revived was a pack row which is this guy right here he's mid-range large and he looks kinda sleepy if you ask me so put him there first team is your active team alright first team let's go okay so And then you're going to want to go back to Treasure Lake. <laughs> oh, he's so dreamy, all mysterious and smoldering and stuff. Oh, I thank you, Kelly. Well, crud, I didn't expect to see him at the cup. This is going to make it harder for, for, uh, to win, that's for sure. Yep. Poncho, it will be hard to win with me in the cup. Hey, Jay, did you hear? Rupert entered the cup. That's right, THE Rupert. You know you're cool when you have a V in front of your name. That's just all there is to it. They're just about to start a TV interview with Rupert now. <laughs> okay, so this kid is your main rival. Good morning. I'm Linda R. Porter. Oh, puns. Golly. Reporting for Colesio TV. With the Colestio Cup underway, we have an exclusive interview with one of the fighters. This undefeated child prodigy is on a stunning run of victories across multiple fo fossil fighting tournaments. He is also the heir to the multi multinational corporation that produces a wide range of goods for fighters. He is the Prince of Fossil Dig Inc. in the talk of every fossil fighter in town. Ladies and gentlemen, say hello to Rupert! Rupert, let's get right to it. Do you feel confident about winning the Celestial Cup? Oh, yes, quite. There's little point in entering a competition if one does not expect to win. Come on, you cannot look that awesome and not have an accent. Right? Once I, I saw Rupert, I was like, that kid has an accent. Spoken like a true champion, there's little doubt this young competitor has sift off from the Cup of Victory. I think I know what it means. It means that um, he is uh, really good at winning. I'm not quite sure, though. Were any other false finder to say as much, we might accuse them of hubris, which I have no clue what that is. I think it might be lying um, from the implication of what she's saying. But from Rupert, it is a fact. <laughs> will this title come to him, or ha as have all others, or will a new hero emerge to challenge the boy genius? Hmm, let's think here. One thing is clear, all eyes will be on the Celestio Cup. I'm sorry, I cannot pronounce today. Oh, we've been asked by the organizers to pass a message along to our viewers. Despite his fame, at the end of the day, Rupert is still a competitor entered in our cup. Though you may be smitten by his roguish charm, please do not mob him or try to steal locks of his hair. Any contestants found to be annoying Rupert in such manner may be subject to qualif disqualification. And that's all the time you've got for Glastio TV, the slender R. Porter, saying good day and good fortune. Okay, this is like my favorite line in the whole game. Idiocy. I love that line! That's just so funny. It's just, pff, idiocy. Ooh, I'd like to chase after Rupert and see if he really is all that. I have an idea. Hey, yeah! They said not to annoy him, but they didn't say we couldn't challenge him to a battle. But wouldn't be challenging him to a battle being annoying him. Anyway. Sweet, I'm going for it. Wish me luck. Good luck, Todd. You will need it. This guy's a champion and you think you can take him on. Well, okay, you know what? I would take him on also. Rupert's kind of a jerk. 
no, actually, Rupert is a jerk. So there's Todd and Rupert talking about something. Hey, what say you and me have a good old that fashion fossil battle? You know, that excited feeling you get when you meet a tough fighter? Well, I have it. You like fossil battles and you know that feeling, so let's have some fun. <laughs> Please go amuse yourself elsewhere. I don't have time to waste on the likes of you. Let's have fun, excited feeling, such discuss disgusting crackles enough to make my porridge come up. Frankly, I abhor having to associate with fighters such as yourself. If you wish to face me in a fossil battle, you must win your way to my standing in the tournament. Of course, there is no chance of that happening. Now run along and take your sad vivisauce with you. They're quite happy, thank you very much. But what? How dare you? You don't have any idea how talented I am, you jerk. Actually, Todd's not that talented, but anyway. I think you're just chicken. Bark, bark, bark. So you demand satisfaction, do you? Very well, if it will keep you from stalking me in the future. Once I show you what a true fossil battle is like, you can run home and tell Mommy all about it. Oh, Todd, you're going to need some ice for that burn. That was just, oh, man. So Rupert has the first attack. He has a ra earth type Raja and a water type Mapo. The Mapo is like his favorite. He always uses the Mapo. It, it was like his first Vivasaur. Like um, I, I tend to favor my first Vivasaur. Like in this game, that Metro. So now it's Rupert's turn. Raja Fang on uh, Todd Stego. 156 damage. Oh, and Stego was defeated. Man. I lost. I lost a lot. Yes, you did, Todd. Man. Truly pathetic. Are you even paying attention to the elemental type of your Vivisaurs? Elemental type? Oh, this is indeed sad. To think that a fighter who knows nothing about elemental types... Oh, very well. Pay attention. There are five elemental types. Fire, earth, air, water, and neutral. Every Vivisaur has one such type. Excluding neutrals, all types hold an advantage and a weakness against other types. For example, the air type is strong against... Ah, uh, darn it. Oh well. If a Vivisaur attacks when it is an elemental... When it has an elemental type advantage, it inflicts greater damage upon its foe. Like if an earth was fighting an air Vivisaur. Uh, Earth would inflict more damage than, say, a water vivisaur fighting an air vivisaur. Now then, when attacking, the target's elemental disadvantage or disadvantage is shown thusly. Oh, that was the elemental advantage, not the, um, the, uh, ranges. I'm sorry. I totally, my bad. My Roger is an Earth type, so were you a clever fighter, you would have targeted my water type, Mappo. Additionally, your Stego was a mid range class vivisaur. Mappo was our range at which your Vivisaur would have been more effective. Not that any of this matters. I still would have crushed you in the end. Oh, come on now. What is this nonsense? Must I truly battle every slap jawed yokel who slinks into view? Oh, you jerk. Enough. I'll not spend one more se uh, second on this madness. I say good day, sir. And he just walks off. Like a jerk. Ah. I've lost plenty of times, but I've never been this angry about it. That's it, Jay. We have to win our way through the cup together. We have to take down that Rupert jerk no matter what. For once, I agree with you, Todd. Beep, beep, beep. Incoming MS, M, FMS message. Round one of the Celestial Cup is about to begin. Todd's opponent will be Jay. Oh. Prepare yourselves before checking in at Rimular Town's Fossil Stadium. Wow, so you're my round one opponent? Opponent, Boom, man, I was hoping to face you in the final. <laughs> Stupid computer. That's right, always blame the computer. Always. Well, there's nothing we can do about it, Jay. We have to fight as hard as we can. Until our round one, round one match is done, I'm going to think of you as my enemy. I'm going to fossil battle you hard. I mean, crazy hard. So that's the first actual fight we have of the game, but 
I'll save that for part six. See you guys next week. JBlade2000 out.